Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Image on Portainer. So, a Image is a, a video and photo storage um, for your mobile devices. So, a little bit about this series. I'm going over Home Labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So we're going to be installing Image today on Portainer. Um, this is a self-hosted backup solution for photos and videos on mobile device. Um, this is in a very active development state, so expect bugs and changes and do not use it as your only way to backup and store your photos and videos. Um, you can see some screenshots down here of the web version and the mobile version. Um, they have an app for Google Play and App Store. So, that's what will be installed today. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to search right here, type image, and then I'm going to go to Portainer. So Docker Compose. So version 3 of the Docker Compose file format is being used. I'm going to set services, and then the first service underneath services is called image server. The container name is going to be called image server. The image is coming off of GitHub, and then the Docker image, and then the Docker image tag. The command is start.sh and then I image. So it's going to start up image with that command. And the imports are 2283 is on the host and 3001 is on the container. The, they volumes, so image upload. And this is a local Docker volume. And then USR source app upload. This is on the host and then the right side is on the container. And then the environment variables to connect to the da a database and then to connect to Redis, and then the image machine learning URL. It depends on is Redis a, da a da database, so it depends on the database to be up and the Redis. So restart always, and that means that if you stop it or any other reason, it'll always restart. And then the, the network that it'll be in is image network. If I didn't set this in a network, then the DB host name would not work up here, and the image machine learning URL would not work, and the Redis host name. So now the image mi microservices, so container's name is going to be called image microservices. The image is coming off of GitHub. The Docker image being used, and then um, the Docker image tag. And then now it's going to set a command, so start.sh and then microservices, and then volumes, image upload is on the host, and then on the contain container right here. And then environment variables, so DB host name is, is to connect to the actual image po Postgres right here. And then um, this connects to the database, and then this is to connect to the Redis. This service does depend on Redis and da a database service. So restart always, and then the uh, I'll put it in the image network. And then image machine learning, and then container name is going to be called image machine learning. And then the image is coming off of GitHub, and then this is the Docker image, and then this is the Docker image tag. Volumes, go, going to set up a local volume for image ca cache. This is on the host, and then this is on the container. Environment variables to connect to the Postgres and then to connect to the Redis. Restart always, and then I'm going to put it in the image network. Re a Redis, so containers, a name is going to be called image Redis. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default, and then this is Docker image, and then this is the Docker image tag. Restart always, and then networks is image network. And then now we're going to set a service for the database. So container net name is going to be called image Postgres. And then the image is coming off Docker by default. And then this is the Docker image. And then this is the Docker image tag. 
And then environment variables. So Postgres pa password is Portainer. Postgres user is Portainer. And then Postgres DB is image. And then this is the Postgres da uh, database. Uh, uh, this is the Postgres data where it stores the data. So that, uh, that'll be in var lib po Postgres QL and then um, da data. So this is a, uh, a path in the container. It is not a path in the host. So um, these credentials should be aligning with these up here. And each one of these service that does connect to the database. And then uh, it's going to set a volume. So image Postgres, that's a local volume. And then var lib Postgres QL and then de a data. This is on the container side and then this is on the host. Restart always and then we're going to set it in the image network. So we're going to define the network down here. So image network, it's going to be a bridge. And then volumes, so image ca cache, the, that is a local volume. Image upload, a local volume. And then image Postgres is a local volume. So I'm going to scroll up here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it, and then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get this setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my portainer. I'm going to go to local stacks and then add stack up here. And then I'm going to give this stack a um, image uh, stack. That's going to be the name. Uh, portainer stacks do use Docker Compose underneath. So this is going to be using the Docker engine. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go down here to the web editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose that I explained over Big Bear Video Assets. And then now I'm going to scroll down to deploy the stack. And what this is doing is it downloaded the Docker images off the registry, got them extracted, and got them up with Docker Compose underneath. So, we got the stack up. So now I'm going to uh, go over the stack options in Portainer's UI. So I'm going to go in the stack. So you can see uh, stack details like uh, the action down here of stop this stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack, stack duplication slash migration. You can also go over to editor and change the Docker and pose. And then uh, once you change the Docker and pose, you, you come down to update the stack right here. Uh, you, you can update it like it is. And or you can repull the images freshly off the registries and then redeploy them by check marking this and then pressing the update button so um you can see all your containers down here that are running in this stack and then you can go into each one of these and see the options for the, each container as well you can see the access controls down here so that's a little bit about the stack options and portainer so now i'm already in my stack i'm going to go into a container um so now you can see the actions for the container. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, slash uh, duplicate, slash edit. You can see the container status down here. You can see logs. This is great for debugging, inspect, stats, consult, attach, access controls, and then create an image. And then container details like the image being used, and then co a command, and then the entry point, the environment variables. And then the labels, the restart policies, and you can ch change that here, and then press the update button. You can see the volumes down here, so image stack, image ca ca cache, and then on the container is cache, so you can see the volumes that are set. And then uh, con the, the connected networks, which we defined one down at the bottom of the Docker and Post, so now it's in one. Um, you can go back to your stack, and you can go into each one of these and have the same options. And uh, they'll be different, uh, like for the volumes, but it's just the same options. Um, so that's a little bit about the container options. So now I'm going to go to the UI. Um, so you're going to put your portainer's IP address in, and then 2283 is on the host port right here. So I'm going to go to it. 
and now it's going to say welcome to image web and get started so now we're going to put a admin email in and then a password and then a name and then si sign up so um you can now log in with those credentials And then um, now you can see, see Welcome Admin. So you can pick your theme, like light, dark. And then and now you can enable storage template. Um, I'm gonna say done. So um, now this is the UI. You can click to upload your first uh, photo, explore the map, and then sh sharing, and then favorites, albums, the archive, uh, a trash. Um, you can go up here to the administration and you can create a new user. You can see jobs and then settings. There's a lot of settings. You can turn on uh, the password authentication, like log in with your email and password, uh, OAuth options, logging, and then the li library. Uh, job settings. Um, so you can see your server stats like photos, videos, storage, and then you can see a, a user a usage a details too. And then you can go to repair. Um, you can see your storage down here, your status online, and then the the version. You can go out of that. Um, so you can upload up here. You can change your theme to light and dark. You can upload right there. Um, you can see the uh, account set, uh, set settings like the appearance, account, API keys, authorized devices, libraries, memories, password sharing, and sa a sidebar. So that's a little bit about the image UI. So I just went over step by step on getting the image running on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go out on the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.